up? So, I bought a new 7-speed thread type cogs or cassette. But I just found out that there's a problem. It's defective. Look at this one. How the hell are we going to use this? It's bent. So one, two, three, maybe four cog was like bent. Now challenge is, challenge for me right now is if we can remove each cog and gonna try to straighten things out, that'll be great. Or I could just remove the bearings on this brand new cog and then put it on the old one or just try and see if this one will work the steel ball bearings for me to remove this I was able to make this move counterclockwise a while ago as there's a thread here so I'm guessing this is a thread type for each cog on the old one this one it does have this one does have a rivet so I don't want to mess things up over here it's not mine uh, this one's mine so let's see if we can go ahead and uh, remove this I'm gonna use a chain whip I already I uh, was able to remove this or not really remove uh, was able to loosen this up a while ago so we need the flathead screwdriver this one and then another tool too maybe a hammer but so far this is what I did I hope we can have a good bank let's see I need someone to to help me out with this but I don't have someone to do that so let's just go ahead and so it's kind of kind of loose right now because I spent like several minutes punching this out if you review the first video you can clearly see there that I installed this with the bent uh, tooth uh, nope still need to counter this one there we go I think we can now remove this Okay, so it's a thread type. Indeed, it is a thread type. Doesn't need any uh, what you call that rivets. So we can now remove them one by one. Yay! So here's one problem. It's kind of bent, right? I hope you can see that on the cam. How about this one, the 14T? This one is not looking good. <laughs> uh, I hope I can straighten this out. Let's try and change venue. <laughs> Maybe I'll have my camera girl with me. <laughs> All right, so bad luck. I bought a new set of cogs, but it was damaged. It was like double sealed on this plastic, and I don't have chance to inspect it before going home. So anyway, I'll just try to fix it. If I can, then uh, bingo. All right, let's go and look for a different angle. Oh, I forgot to include this. 
Uh, yep. So a while ago, he removed the the lock. There's the damage. So I'm just gonna show you guys that you can now go ahead and remove them one by one, including the plastic spacers. All right. Complete disassembly. The only thing I haven't figured out is uh, how to replace the bearings over here. You can go ahead and repack them, but maybe I'll do that on a separate video. So, here's our problem right now. I hope I can go ahead and straighten them out. I'll let you know what will happen. This is not a good day, or this is not a good year. 2020 sucks, right? <laughs> ah! uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm back. So, again, this is the main problem. The This one is kind of bent. Not sure how we can fix this. There. This one is slightly bent. I think by pounding it or hammering it will work. Unfortunately, I don't have the by tools with me. So I'm just going to yank them, whack them. Okay. Still bent. Almost there. Hmm. This will be hard. Still bent, but that's the only. This is the only set of tools that I have to fix this, or maybe destroy it more. <laughs> uh, I will update you guys after banging on this one for several hours. Let's see if I can do something about this. Okay, so just an update. After a few minutes of banging around with just my big old adjustable wrench and my 20 year old pliers so far uh, here's what happened. Uh, I'm looking for the bent tooth, bent tooth, <laughs> bent in, bent tooth, and it's almost perfect now. This not the this not the new one. Oh, I mean this is this is still the the new one that I bought. So uh, let's go ahead and. Where is the one with the bent? This, I think this is the one. This is the one that I've been pounding on a while ago. And yeah, those are the scratches. So what I did was, I just used my, oh, there you can see. This one is, this one's still kind of uh, a different shape. So what I did was I just placed it on a flat surface and with this plier on the bent tooth place my hand over here and then use this as a hammer so 
so far it's uh, accept more acceptable right now but still not in perfect shape but anyway uh, I hope I can fix this if not then buy another set of new cog and then open the plastic make sure that everything is in perfect condition by the way I bought this one from a store not not online so every time you go out there make sure you open it inspect it in front of them so I still have few more to uh, straighten or flatten things out over here I almost dropped my camera anyway uh, that is to just uh, give you guys an idea so later on if we can install this back and see what will happen if not then I'm just going to remove the bearings and then place it on the old cogs okay alright guys I think I nailed it we are in good shape everything looks fine on every toot no more bent or unwanted cogs I've tried fitting the chain and so far it's a okay but I still don't have time to test drive so this one can or will fit well a while ago it doesn't fit well so all cogs here they can now accept the uh, chain 8 speed or I mean 7 speed chain so I spent like several hours trying to bang him and was able to straighten things out. This is the one with the bent uh, tooth. They're all straight now. And go. So far, so good. But I don't know what will happen if we go ahead and put this on and do some shifting test drive he said he's gonna give me ps5 if i can fix this why not right <laughs> here's the pop that i uploaded like three months ago it's now a dog hmm. The Akita, Jack Russell, and Japanese Speeds combo. Go on, girl. Say bye bye.